Hey you, yes you, in front of your screen. Do you want to know how to make this mock skibbity Ohio Wizard trend thing here? Yes. Perfect, because in today's video I will show you step by step how to make this trend. And it is pretty easy and it's also a free rival try. So I would definitely do this if I would be you. Anyway, let's do this. So I already set the beats of the audio. And the first thing we will do is searching for the clips. Oh, and by the way, press Ctrl Shift D to cut. As you can see now, I finished the clips and what we will do now is making our clips longer. Why you may ask? It's just for the fact when we put this filter on, sometimes the filter is not working. So we make the clips longer so it's still the same length as we have right now. I would recommend between like one to two seconds and then everything is safe. Now go to file, export and add to render queue and go to high quality and change the format options to Apple ProRes 4444 and then just render the thing. Once your sort of scene pack finished rendering, you need to put it onto your phone or send it to your phone. You can either do this for Mega or something like this, like how you usually do it. And then open Snapchat on your phone because now we will put the filter on. Okay, once you open Snapchat, click on this sort of gallery symbol in the bottom left. And now this thing will open. Then click on camera roll and choose your scene pack and just click on it. Click on add a lens and just scroll all the way to the right until you see this kind of searching thing. And then search for tough guy face in the search bar. So we kind of search the filter right now. And in the top left, you can see this one guy with his necklace and stuff. Just click on this guy. And then you have this filter on your character. And I know this looks so freaking goofy, but whatever. Short tip right here. You can either just export this thing right now, but I would not recommend this. What you can do is just put a screen recording now on. I did this as well, obviously, because I'm recording my screen right now. This takes not that long first of all and second of all it's not that unsmooth it's still super unsmooth and laggy but it's not super unsmooth as if you would export it all right perfect now once you finished your screen recording just send it to you on mega or whatever you want to do to get it on your pc and put it onto your timeline and now it will make the edit put your clips into the timeline and match them to the beats and also adjust the position of your clip just mark your specific clip and press P on your keyboard and yeah, just adjust it how you want it. Put multi frame rate and motion blur on. Once you finish that, we will pre-compose all the clips. Mark your clip, your first clip and press Control shift c on your keyboard and press OK. And just do that now with all of the other clips. Once you finish that, we will do the Twixter slash slow motion. To do this, search Twixter Pro in the effects bar and put it onto your first clip. Now go to the effect settings of Twixter. Put contrast edge enhance, motion weighted blend and inverse smart blend on. Then keyframe speed and move your cursor three frames to the right and change it to 50. Then you're done. That's basically a trickster, it's super easy. And now do this with all of the other clips and you have finished your slow motion. Now I just added some zooms. If you want to know how I do my zooms, just watch this tutorial right here. I go more in detail in here, but yeah, I just put them on. So we have a little bit more movement. By the way, you don't need to do those zooms. Uh, I just like to put some zooms in. The next thing we will do are the flashes. So for this, search for brightness and contrast in the effects bar and put it onto your first clip. Go to brightness and keyframe it and change it to minus 60. Move the cursor three frames to the right and change it to 50. By the way, press U on your keyboard so you can see the keyframes. And then go all the way to the end and change it to zero. And you're basically done with that. Press T on your keyboard and opacity will open. Keyframe opacity and go to the end of your clip and then change it to zero. Mark both of the keyframes and easy ease. Go to the graph editor and copy my graph. Now mark all of the keyframes, so mark brightness and contrast and opacity and press Ctrl C on your keyboard and go to your next clip and press Ctrl V. Press U on your keyboard and adjust the keyframes. 
and do this now with every single clip. Alrighty, so the next thing we will do is the directional blur. So for this, go to layer, new, and create an adjustment layer, and cut the adjustment layer the same length as your clip. Then search for BCC directional blur in the effects bar and put it onto your adjustment layer. Keyframe blur amount and change it to 150. Press U on your keyboard and move the cursor six frames to the right and change it to zero. Mark both the keyframes, easy ease. Go to the graph editor and copy my graph. Now just press Ctrl D on your keyboard so you copy the adjustment layer and put it above your next clip and just keep going with it so you basically finish your blurs. Okay, we are almost done. Just um, mark all of it except for the intro and pre-compose it. So then press Ctrl D again. So we basically do the loop now. My edit has a loop, so I just copy this. So now we add more effects to make it look cooler. I added two one framers, two white solids, and I also added uh, S shake to have more of an impact in my edit. If you want to know how I do my shakes, by the way, let me know. I can make a specific tutorial on that. And you're done. Finally, I hope this quick tutorial helped you on making this mogging trend, which is kind of ironic to me, but it's also super funny. That's why I like it so much. And yeah, thank you for the support lately. We hit 640 subs. Thank you, thank you so much. Like, I never expected so much support. Anyway, bye-bye. Nah, actually, what the flip is this?